another video on engine swap supply today we're back in the underground garage and we're gonna be working on our 72 Corvette now we just picked this thing up it has super low mileage uh, we picked it up with right under 28,000 miles literally 27,999 miles and it was great it was working great until it didn't uh, the brakes kind of went out on us and so the front calipers were leaking so we swapped the back calipers and then just to find out the rear calipers decided to give out as we were bleeding them so we did a full willwood caliper swap um, it was kind of chugging along so i had the carburetor rebuilt and uh, it was still kind of choking itself after you drove it for a while which i figured it'd be the fuel pump and it went out about a week ago or so but uh, we're going to be installing this complete fuel system that you can get from our website now although we do specialize in swap stuff i'm not swapping this car it's too clean um, I probably will down the road. I have another project to work on, and I'm, a lot of you guys want to see the Trans Am anyways. So I'm, we're pretty much just focused on getting this car uh, running properly. So we filmed another video explaining everything on the fuel system. Uh, new Air Motive Gen 2 Stealth tank, and this is our complete fuel system kit, which is a high quality nylon, uh, AN hose, all, fit, all the fittings, billet fuel filter. Uh, actually, we won't be using this air motor regulator because we're keeping the carb. Air motor does offer a EFI pump to carburetor regulator, so that's what we're going to be using. And then also an air motor uh, fuel pump harness to make sure everything stays happy. Now we already went ahead and did a lot of dirty work and we took out the spare tire uh, just to kind of see what we were working with. Uh, I'll bring the old tank here so we can compare these two. All right, guys. So here are here here is our two here are our two tanks. Um, pretty much exactly the same except for this one's old it actually it's actually leaking from the top here which is uh, what prompted me to get a new tank um, and then because it was when I noticed it was kind of chugging a little bit uh, I figured the fuel pump started to go out the only thing this tank doesn't have is this vent valve I actually didn't even know these cars had a vent valve a vent deal I guess it's kind of like a vapor canister or whatever don't know if I'm gonna reuse it I may just run the vacuum line to the the vacuum source directly um the you know exact same tank the only thing i didn't buy was a new cap and uh this thing which i should have all right so what we're going to do now is we're actually going to start uh, i guess working on the wiring harness that's so probably going to take the longest and then we're going to start plumbing the lines we actually already took all the old fuel lines out already and that way none of that stuff is in there you can leave them in there if you want and just kind of run your fuel lines alongside them but we took them out since we're going to be running a feed in and return so let's get started. Okay, so this is the air motive harness all uh, broken out. It gave me plenty of lead, uh, much more than I need because my battery's in the back and my fuel pump's in the back. So this, this one here with the fuse is for the battery, battery power, this is ground. You know, we'll probably just do battery ground since everything's in the back anyways. This thin red wire here is ignition. And then these, this battery or this power and ground is for the pump. You can see how thick it is. Cool thing about this harness is that everything is super high quality and even the loom. It's got a nice loom on it and they give you plenty of wire. Much more than I need right now. But that's about it. All right, guys, so here's the fuel system right here. This is the, uh, obviously the filter we ran. We actually ran this like OEM. OEM runs through here and then runs all down the frame. And basically the lines just come up. Sorry, we're getting heated here. The lines come up and like factory. And they basically just, the tank would serve right here and then just come up. And then all down here, down here at the bottom is the uh, spare tire which I don't think I'm going to run, but you can see the fuel system, fuel lines. We have, you can see our, our harness right here. You can kind of see where we ran it to. We just have the wires 
the wires tucked up. The wires tucked up there just for now. With the fuel pump harness, lines, and the rest of the fuel system. All right guys, so we got the gas tank in. Again, uh, OEM, very similar to OEM, or pretty much exactly like OEM, except for maybe it's got a second vent on this side, that side, this this side, uh, this other side over here, probably because this is for, it goes up to 74, and it's 72. So again, you can see the, you can see the aeromotive deal here. Pretty much just hook up the lines, up the lines and then we also have the two power cables we get them routed out of the way for now but when it's power you use the same sender and that's pretty much it uh, probably just put the spare tire back on and guys and that's gonna wrap up the fuel system as you saw the install is actually super easy uh, we we put this kit together for you guys this is the exact same kit we would put together if you guys were doing an LS swap or an LT swap um, and I know I said earlier that I wasn't gonna swap this car that was a lie I lied straight to your face uh, there's already we already have plans on this car motors being built for it um, I wanted to leave it alone because it was running and driving but man I mean, you know how it is. I'll go ahead and show you the engine bay and just kind of see what we did. And then I'll show you how easy, how it turns on and just how it operates. And here's the regulator we showed you earlier. It's the Aeromotive EFI to carbureted setup. If you guys are, if you guys just want the fuel system and you want to keep your carb stuff, I, like I said, I, before, I know we're a swap company and stuff like that, but for whatever reason, if you want to keep this, uh, we can set you up with this regulator. EFI to carb. So that way when we do swap this thing over, uh, we can just get the regulator and just make a line, make a new line. But, uh, real simple you see how the lines are ran back here and then if I take you over to the other side and you can see the feed it's kind of comes through there and feeds I have a little filter right there even though we have the, we have the filter in the back and then that just feeds up to the carburetor so like I said guys real real easy all right guys we're, we're gonna go ahead and turn it on so you can see how well this works Added a couple extra gauges, a temperature gauge and a oil pressure gauge. Not sure if you can hear it. Click. Here's a pump in there. And then let's start her up. But that's gonna do it for this video guys. If you guys are interested in a fuel system, you can check out the website. We'll have links below to the fuel systems and we are adding fuel systems every day. Again, the same system we sell is, a, is the system we put in this car, except for the regulator. But if you wanna keep your carbon motor, we can definitely set you up with that regulator as well. But until then guys, please like and share this video and we'll catch you on the next one.